Do you want to talk with Tam? 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 Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Say, do you want to talk with Tam? Say, do you want to talk with Tam? Do you want to talk with Tam? Do you want to talk with Tam? Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam, everybody. Today is Tuesday, April the 20th, 2021, and you are tuned in to the Talk with Tam YouTube station. I want to thank my subscribers for subscribing, and you already know what I'm going to say. I want you to share this with somebody that need to know I choose me. Amen. Amen. Sometimes, sometimes, it is very hard for Christians, Christians, to choose to do the right things. Especially when doing the wrong is the easiest. It's the easy way out. And especially when we can get away with it. For some Christians, it's hard for them to choose to do the right thing when it presents themselves a challenge. Or how about this one? I think we all have, we can all say this, uh, that it's hard to choose to do the right thing by people who purposely hurt us. It's hard not to seek revenge. However, although we are unable to control the intuitions of this flesh, to want to curse them out, we have to choose the fruit over the flesh. Talk with Tam viewers. As Christians, we should always choose to walk after the spirit and not the flesh. We should always choose righteousness over unrighteousness. Our choices should always follow after righteousness. When we don't know what to choose, and we, first of all, wait. Uh, and then if you still don't know what to do, you haven't had that answer. Whatever your flesh is struggling with, you do the opposite of your flesh. Oh, amen. <laughs> let me say this. Sometimes, sometimes we let, I call it nouns, choose for us. We allow people, places, and things to make our choices. We ask for advice. We look at the situation or covet for something. Instead of being assertive, we allow others to direct our paths that actually should be led by God. Joshua, Daniel, the Hebrew boys, if they made it be known, whatever the circumstance, threat, or the self-advantage, they all chose to follow God and his righteousness despite their consequences. Being put to death in a fiery furnace, thrown in a lion's den, in one form or the other, they collectively stood as Joshua say, we going as far as me and my house, we going to serve the Lord. So what will you do? What choices will you make if the consequences of your actions cause you to get fired? Cause the people, or how about this, your whole family to turn against you? Or how about this, if it... Uh, what choice would you make if you, you need a car 
and 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 they telling you the, the note and it looked like a house note. What you gonna choose to do? They all go north, south, east, and west anyway. Anyway, let me go on. Some Christians, some Christians don't know what to choose. Because they don't have a personal relationship with God. They have not developed a solid foundation in the Lord for themselves. They can't endure trials and tribulations without finding a, a an escape route. And then we got some people that say, uh, I don't want to uh, uh, choose, uh, how about this, even God. They say, why should I choose God first? And I tell them, because you're actually choosing you. If you can only see the disadvantages in serving God, you'll never see the advantages by completely surrendering his life, your life unto him. Some Christians are actually confused because of some denominational uh, beliefs. They actually make the choices for them. They don't have a free will. They tell their members, you can't watch the televisions because you are letting spirits in your home. You can't go certain places. And your only choices is church-related activities. Or, or... Their consequences for you, their choices, I'm sorry, for you, they are, un they are unbalanced. Some denominations, well, they choose and they say, uh, some say ladies can't wear pants. But the men are bald-headed and clean-shaven. They say that you can't go to concerts and movies because they're sinful. But they have a whole bootleg collection of Modea of uh, things before, uh, uh, videos before they start this streaming stuff. Some denominations teach against uh, alcohol, all forms, but serve mad dog at communion. A false weight is an abomination unto the Lord. Whatever you choose, in, in whatever, and I'm talking about as a Christian, period. It should be equal. It should not make you feel uh, appear to be a hypocrite before God. But let me say this. Sometimes because of you having an unsent pastor, oh, I'm saying it. You have a double-minded pastor. You can preach against fornication, but host baby showers at the church for unwed mothers, you can't preach heaven without preaching and teaching folks how they are on their way to hell. You can't have preach. Choosing what makes the people feel good and not convicting. Unfringed Christians desire to choose righteousness. The true Christian desires to choose right, even when God have them to go and cry alone. A true, a unfringed Christian will choose to let nothing separate them from the love of God. Romans 8, 5, and 4 says this. Those who are dominated by the sinful nature that those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things. But those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about things that please the Spirit. So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death. I'm in six. But letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. Seven. For the sinful nature is always hostile to God. It never did obey God's laws, and it never will. This is the New Living Translation, Romans 8 and 8. 
That's why those who are under the control of their sinful nature can never please God. But you, Christians, are not controlled by your sinful nature. You are controlled by the spirit. If you have a spirit of God living in you, and remember that those who do not have the spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to him at all. And Christ lives within you. So even though your body will die because of sin, the spirit gives you life because you have made right with God. 11. The spirit of God who raised Jesus Christ from the dead lives in you. And just as God raised Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same spirit living in you. No, oh, that's some good stuff. 12. Therefore, therefore, dear brothers and sisters, you have no obligations to do what your sinful nature urges you to do. For if you live by its dictates, you will die. But if through the power of the spirit you put to death in deeds of your sinful nature, you will live. For all who are led by the spirit of God are children of God. So talk with Tim we need to decide today, who will we serve? That sinful nature or the spirit of God? How about this? I choose, me and Louise Stanley for Carrie chooses God. Therefore, I am a child of God. But since you, you talk with Tam viewers, you watching this, you can declare on this day, I choose. No longer will I allow my flesh to dictate my choices because it will only lead to sin. Today, you can declare, I choose to live eternally with Christ and not to die to worship Satan. Today, right now, you can choose to have dominion over your flesh and I choose to walk after the spirit and not my flesh. Today, today, say, I choose to love and not to hate. I choose to make peace than make conflict. I choose me over everyone except God. I choose to live. God gave you a free will. And know this. Your choices that you make ultimately writes the book of your life. And on Judgment Day, what will the title of your book read? I chose what over God? I'm going to tell you what mine's going to say. I chose eternal life over eternal death. Be encouraged in your choices. Don't let your flesh be the cause you are not written in the book of life. Talk with town viewers. It's not what you say, but it's what you choose to do. Amen. Amen. That was real good now. So until next week, next Tuesday.
Hey, or do you want to talk with Tam? 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 Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. I say, do you want to talk with Tam? I say, do you want to talk with Tam? Do you want to talk with Tam? Do you want to talk with Tam? Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam, everybody, until next Tuesday. <laughs>